this never gets old. And the day, or rather the night that it does. Okay, right, 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 here we go. I don't know what I'll do with myself. <laughs> This is what it's all about, hunting and doing what we love, trying to bring stuff for you guys at home to enjoy. And this is the fruits of our labor. Enough of the sweet talk. Let's go do this again. <laughs> What does any normal person do when you shoot a pig the night before and it decides to take a death leap into a creek as a last resort to get away? You go and you get it. This year has brought many lessons that have helped with our success, but one in particular will stand out among the rest, and that's simply learning why you need an AR-15 if you're gonna hunt pigs. Most bolt guys like myself will use their favorite deer hunting rifle to hunt pigs when they first get started, like we did, which is perfectly fine and will get the job done. But over a period of time, after having a chance to hunt with multiple hardcore pig hunters, I've seen one common factor among almost all of them. That factor is called the AR-15 or the AR-10. It seems like the weapon of choice for all the most hardcore pig hunters I know. And that, my friend, is without a doubt no coincidence. Now there are people out there that will claim that a semi-automatic style weapon has no real world hunting application. Some are just left wing liberals that want to complain because the AR-15 looks scary. And some are actual hunters that have never experienced walking into a group of multiple pigs where multiple shots are needed in a short period of time. I've never been a liberal. But I have been a hunter that at one time didn't fully understand the need for the AR-15 in certain hunting situations. It's funny how everything changes by a person's perspective, which is determined by what they have personally experienced. As for myself, I'm learning more every time I go out without the most suited weapon for the job exactly how much the AR-15 is more of a necessity than it is a preference. That's a big pig, man. I thought the other one was big until that one <laughs> walked up next to it. If you're gonna play this game on a regular basis. This was gonna be the last pig hunt with the old bolt gun for us when chasing pigs, as opportunities for killing multiple pigs instead of one at a time kept slipping through our fingers. It was time for the change. Look at the girth on that thing, dude. Yeah, she's all there. That is probably the fattest sow I think I can ever remember killing. That pig's probably nine foot around. 
there is no way that pig's not over 300 pounds. I mean, I'm I'm 250, and it's bigger than me. We measured when I laid down beside it a minute ago. <laughs> Looks like a 55-gallon drum. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. These pigs. It's like every time we kill one, we we'll sit around and just sit and be quiet for about 20, 30 minutes, and here they, here they come. come again. I just can't get over how big a round that. Pig. I mean, I guarantee that pig's at least from her back to right there is at least four foot. We managed to kill one out of two in this group, but it sure would have been nice to have gotten both. We did the best we could with the weapon we brought to play with. <laughs> that thing is huge. I say we hook her up and drag her somewhere where we might be able to kill a coyote or something off of her. Hook her up? Yeah, let's hook that sucker up to the truck. God dang. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. This fat sow was the last pig to be taken with the deer rifle, but as luck would have it, after a closer examination later, we actually killed nine pigs with one shot. Just don't ask how we know. If there's one person on the night crew team that I consider to be an AR-15 expert, it's no doubt Matt Charsky. He's owned several, and frankly knows a whole lot more about them than I do. This year we partnered with an AR manufacturer, Night Ops. They specialize in AR-15s and AR-10s built for guys who do what we do. And this week, my new toy had finally arrived. It was a 6.5 Grindle, and I figured the perfect person to be the first one to break it in on a pig would have to be old Matt. I trust his opinion because I know he will tell me what he really thinks about the weapon. Looks like they're moving to the right. They're going to come down that hill. I say we cross this fence and try to get them on the other side of those trees. If we can get right around the back side of that high line right there. Yeah. And walk right to them. Keep the trees in, in between us. Yeah. If those stinking cows don't go crazy. Let's just cross right here. Let me get across and I'll get your gut. All right. We had two things working against us with these pigs. Besides this noisy old gate, the cows and the wind. These pigs were dangerously close to busting us already and the cows were making things that much harder. They were pushing the pigs even further downwind. Those cows are kind of pushing them out. It was only a matter of time till the gig was up. We may have to just walk right straight to them. We had to make a move, because the longer we stayed there, the worse the situation became. And I really wanted Matt to get a crack at these pigs with the new Grendel. It was now or never. No, you're good. Did I hit the second one? I'm pretty sure you did. That third one's gone, but he was getting in line with that house, so I didn't want to yeah. take a chance. Those stinking cows, man. <laughs> I hate them. That one big bull was making my butt pucker a little yeah, bit. <laughs> he is large. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. I, I'm Coming from a bulk guy. Yeah. Being able to just sit there and keep plinking. Yeah. If they keep running, you just keep shooting. As long as you got bullets, you just keep pulling the trigger. Look at the color on that dude. That is awesome. Wow. That is a big old sow. 
She didn't look that big. Heck no, man. That's a big old pig, Matt. <laughs> look at that. Woo! We don't see very many of them that are this, I guess you want to call it a calico or what? I don't know what you'd call that color. She dropped like a ton of bricks, man. Heck yeah. That's a 6.5 Grindle uh, Night op sent me this week. And man, I'm telling you what, I'm really liking it. Yeah, I put the thump on her. I can't get over how lightweight that thing is. Yeah, oh, that's great. I tell you, whenever they got up here on top of this hill and those cows, we were pushing the cows and the cows were pushing the pigs kind of downwind of us. Yeah. I was like, this ain't gonna end well. Man, they threw those snouts up. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt they, they had us pegged. When they come out from behind this brush right here, I could tell they were in that yeah, pose where that it's, alert mode. it's time. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of surprised they stopped again like that. For so many years, just growing up and hunting coyotes, sure. I was like the last person I did not like AR-15s. Right. I just didn't like them. <laughs> and since we've been running these thermals and walking up on multiple pigs, oh, yeah. having an AR is almost a must. You have to, man. Yeah. I mean, you right there, to. you got off three or four shots in a matter of seconds. Right. And with a bolt, every time you'd rack a shell, you'd uh, have to get out of the scope, find yeah. them again, and acquire your target every time. So. Yeah, there's one out in the trees there somewhere. I know you hit that second one. Yeah. You could see the heat coming off of them when you shot. Right. Oh, that's good. At least the big one's down. <laughs> yeah. She's a big old girl. That is a big old pig, that's for sure. Wow. I was pretty excited about the new toy, because I could tell Old Matt was genuinely impressed. Yeah, this thing is, they really did a good job. Sweet gun, that carbon fiber barrel. I mean, just the fit, you can feel that upper and lower. I mean, there's just no movement. Cause usually in an AR, you can feel a little, a little give between the upper and lower. There is zero with this. It is like one solid piece. They did a really good job on this gun. Just a gorgeous looking AR. Matt doesn't sugarcoat much of anything, and his opinion about the new Night Ops gave me confidence to know I had finally become set up with the right weapon to play this game. That's a deadly combination. You throw that reap on top of that bad boy right there. Night Ops really did a good job with this gun. That is slick. I'm with Night Crew team member Gary Bennett in the middle of a very tricky situation. Pig hunting, just like any other type of hunting, can throw you a curve when you least expect it. We were in the midst of over 30 pigs. It was a target rich environment, let me tell you. But the problem was obvious. There could have been over a hundred pigs in this group and it wouldn't have mattered because the cows were everywhere. Apparently, cow patties mixed with corn are a pig delicacy because we stood there for over an hour watching these pigs go from crap pile to crap pile digging for gold. It was very entertaining because these cows were acting like a corn dispenser for these pigs. Anytime a cow did his business, here they came. We never saw a pig actually stick his head under the spout, but I bet he would if he knew which one had to go the worst. The one good thing was we used these cows to our advantage to get literally within feet of multiple pigs. There is no magnification or zoom on this thermal footage you're watching. What you see is the actual vantage point we were at, but as long as we stood still and mixed in with the cows, and stayed downwind, they walked all around us. Yeah, let them go back up there. See that one right in the middle of the cow? <laughs> that pig actually heard me talking, we were so close. And I was hoping he didn't sound an alarm with all the rest. But nope, they just went right back to mining for gold. See that big fat one? Yeah. If that one clears, kill it. One that's just about to clear the cows right now. There's a cow behind him. Every time we had one clear for a shot, the cows would somehow manage to get in the way. It was really starting to wear on both of us. 
One pig in particular walked to around 10 feet away and strutted right in front of us broadside, as if he knew there was nothing we could do. After filming these pigs for so long and realizing they weren't going anywhere, we just decided to take our time and pick the right pig when it was safe to take a shot. Time and time again, I heard the click of Gary's safety off, then back on again. It was torture, but I'm a very patient person and had no problem waiting them out. Good things do come to those who wait, but the one thing I completely forgot to take into account was about to bite us right in the butt. Now we were desperate. say, desperate situations call for desperate measures. My battery's blinking at me. Finally, after an hour of waiting, a pig steps clear without a cow in the way. We really wanted to follow up on some of the other pigs on their way out, but unfortunately there was just too many bystanders in the way. After this experience, we were pumped to get the one we got. Man, I didn't think they were ever going to clear those cows. That was nerve wracking. I didn't really like it a whole lot because they were too close. And I wanted to turn him loose, but we like to never found a place to, to catch us a gap where there wasn't any cows where we could get it done. No, whenever they're walking out there 10, 12 yards in front of you and you can't do nothing with them because of the cows, it just wears you out. That's a new toy I got in yesterday from Night Ops. That is a sweet feeling little machine right there. It's got a real short stroke on the trigger. It's set up pretty light. Don't put your finger in there unless you're ready for it to hear it to go boom. Such a light recoil. It doesn't rock your body, it doesn't move you. You're able to stay on, stay in tune with them as they're leaving. And I have shot guns that rocks you so hard it's hard to get back on the animal. This one here, it just seems like you never leave. We were handcuffed with these cows in this particular situation and couldn't really maximize the potential of the new night ops. But I can tell you now from my own personal experience, being in a group of pigs with nothing stopping you from pulling the trigger like these cows, a semi-automatic weapon is a must. Being able to stay on target with a new round always in the chamber gives you the advantage because your eye never leaves the next target. That's something you simply can't do while working a bolt. You can try like I did, but at the end of the day, you'll realize you just need the right tool for the job.